Howdy, it's Michael Exile again. I'm back with a live video. This time it's uh, with a camera as well. Uh, I don't usually use a camera, but, and I probably will be looking at the camera a weird way, or I won't be looking at it at all because I don't normally do it, even on stream. But uh, if I make any weird looks or if I'm not looking at the camera at all, I'm sorry. I just kind of look at my screens and stuff. Um, but I wanted to talk about the Crow Boss event today and what I think about it and uh, my tinfoil hat theory on how it's going to pan out and some of my gripes with it. So uh, I'm really tired, so I'm just going to get right into it. I really just wanted to put this out there, maybe speak it into existence. Hopefully it's like how it works. But uh, yeah, so if you're unfamiliar with how the event works, it's uh, a little bit different from the past events. This time it's split up into two acts. So it's called As the Crow Flies, that's the name of the event, and the act one is called A Murder of Crows. And what makes this event different this time around is that the progress bar that we're given is a community driven pro progress bar. So we don't just get the event and we're like instantly able to get skins. This time around it's a com community driven goal and it has a goal of 100 million points. And first impression would probably be like, oh, that's not probably not so bad because they probably allowed us to get way more points than previous events. And that is far from the case. I was averaging like 15 points in my stream a little bit ago. I, I just finished streaming about four hours of this event and I got about like 15 average points per game. Um, so it's safe to say that like, that's not the case. This goal is extremely ambitious. If you thought it was ambitious, you're not wrong. A lot of people think the same thing. And uh, I have a theory of why it is that the goal is so high, but I'll get into that later. But Yes, the, the way you earn points is similar to the past events. You destroy objects on the map. You This time around, you can kill like murders of crows to earn points towards the event. Um, and you just get clues and kill bosses, obviously. Uh, nothing new there. And you do have boosters as well, and I'll get to those in a second, because that's also a big thing about this event that's very different. But yeah, it's been like a whole day, basically. And as you can see, we have like 6.26 million points towards this uh progress bar as i'm recording this it's about like 3 20 a.m it's been like a whole day since the event's been out almost and uh we're only at six mil so if you do the math here let's just do the math here for a second so if you get we have six mil right now and it's almost been a day it's gonna roughly take about like 10 days maybe a little more to uh complete this progress bar and that would leave about eight days to or like even like a week to uh complete the actual uh event you know like the uh, the portion of the event act two i guess you could say that gives you the skins that are for this event like the the plague doctor the bomb lance skin the uh <clears throat> the med kit stuff like that so a lot of people are worried about that because it seems kind of unrealistic to have such an ambitious goal and expect players to get all these skins within a week and uh I agree with them like some people don't have a lot of time to play this game they don't have a lot of time to get the skins so like having just a week max to get those skins when it's gonna take like a week they're probably gonna have like daily caps like they do in previous events like you only get one skin a day not everyone's gonna be able to game every single day and they're gonna miss out on some stuff potentially and i i feel that for them i i feel that and uh it seems kind of out of touch to have such a big uh progress bar like this and have it actually count towards the event duration. Uh, however, the game did reach its uh, highest concurrent players, so that's really awesome because the game needs a lot more players, right? It's been kind of struggling with players lately. Um, so that's really awesome. They they broke their record, and that's probably why we got so much more points right now is because everyone was hyped for the event. A lot of new players, a lot of returning players uh, wanting to experience this event, and uh, a lot of us are kind of... Uh, underwhelmed by the fact that they kind of didn't tell us about how this was going to work until very last minute and uh we thought we were all going to experience the boss today right like we thought we were going to be able to fight it and uh they locked it behind this progress bar and uh that's very out of touch for crytech i feel like i feel like that's a a big uh a big miss on on that on their part for this uh portion of the event and uh i feel like they could have given us a lot more points to earn in this event, as well as make watching Twitch streams earn points towards the event. Like every hour puts so many points towards the event. 
And I feel like that would also help with Twitch engagement, get a lot more people watching it. That's like a huge miss for them there. But uh, yeah, there's also boosters for this. And you would think like, oh, why doesn't everyone just use boosters? Like that would help speed up the process. Uh, so the boosters are similar to the Halloween event, the, the, the worm seed shots in which they uh, have like a 100% boost. Or I think the worm seed shots were like 50%. So uh, the worm seed shots work like this silver one right here. But as you can see, if you look at the blood bond prices here, they are way, way more expensive than the worm seed shots. They're not like 50 blood bonds. So there's three tiers to these op these items this time around. The highest being the ivory, which gives 100% bonus. And uh, that's worth $10. And that's already absurd. Like getting a 100% boost for $10 is like no one's gonna buy that no one's gonna buy blood bonds uh maybe they'll use like their spare blood bonds that they have here for this but it doesn't even seem worth it for such a high goal you know like no one in their right mind is gonna buy that most likely right um and it seems a bit absurd the, with that being said though you do also give a random player in the match uh hunt dollars which it, it, it doesn't even benefit you at all. Like you don't, you're not really giving yourself hunt dollars. You're giving like some random person hunt dollars. So it's like, it doesn't even warrant this price still at all or excuse this price. Uh, it seems very greedy on Crytek's part to have something like this while also having such a high goal for unlocking the boss. Cause they know there's a lot of hype around this. Everyone was waiting for this boss and they not only lock it behind a progress bar, but they make it nearly impossible and put very expensive items uh, that help you towards making faster progress. And uh, that's a lot of people's complaints. They feel like this is very out of touch. It's very not like Crytek, you know, like in the past events, it wasn't the events were a little bit grindy, but like it wasn't too bad. Um, and you do earn blood bonds for free. A lot of them at that like you can earn blood bonds for these but like it's not even worth it. it's a one-time use and it's a lot of blood bonds so it, it just it seems very like uh tone deaf when like everyone was so excited about this boss you know and the skins as well um like they, they release dlcs and that's paid as well but like they're not very expensive for one like you could buy a whole dlc for this one ivory pack um and you could also buy skins for free usually with like blood bonds every so often when they release them with a new patch. So there's really no, uh, there's like, there's no explanation that I could possibly give that, uh, would excuse such decisions, you know, like even if my theory is true, there's a lot of people that probably don't believe my theory as well, or even thought about it before. So like, the first impression of seeing this is just like it's very greedy seem it, it seems very greedy out of touch uh tone deaf it's just, it's just not it's just not it it's, a, it's another miss on crytek's part but i'm gonna hit you with some hot copium for a second all right i'm gonna hit you with some tinfoil hat theories but i feel like it's this it's not that outlandish you know i feel like it's it's not the worst theory to be made about this game. It, there's some crazier things that could be thought out about this game, obviously. Like, this game is absurd in the way it works. It's like a fucking spider with, made out of human flesh or whatever, you know? So like, the sky's the limit at this point with my theory. So let me just explain why I think there's such a big progress bar and why these are so expensive. So, I feel like the progress bar is so high because they knew there was a, a lot of hype surrounding this event they doubled down on this event they appeared on twitch gaming which got, had a lot of viewers and uh they've been kind of hyping up the event like as the crow flies the crow will fly all the teasers um they knew that having a new boss would be such a big deal and that a lot of players would come to play for the new boss right and So the reason why they would put such a big progress bar is because they're probably not just going to drop the crow boss into your match the moment it's unlocked, right? Like if that was the case, they wouldn't have given us this progress bar. 
it would work like any other boss at that point. Like, it, it would just be like you're playing the game normally. You just have a new boss, right? So, my theory is they knew that there was a lot of hype surrounding this. A lot of players would be logging in. So, they wanted to gauge the hype for this event. They wanted to see how many people would log in to play this event, right? And uh, bear with me here. So, like I said before, it's clear at this rate, this progress bar is going to take about 10 days at the least, right? It's going to take like 10 days at this rate. It's already been like a day and we have six mil. So I feel like they purposely made this goal so high because they wanted to prep for the amount of players that would be logging in to play against this boss, right? They wanted to not only to spawn the boss in your match, but they wanted to have a live event. And if you've played a live event in any other game, you know how catastrophic it can be when there's a lot of hype surrounding it. Like some games have complete disasters where no one was able to experience the event at all. Uh, and I'm not saying that this game is going to have like a Fortnite level uh, event with like Travis Scott adding Astral World to the Bayou, you know, like it's going to be uh very it's got to be a little bit more realistic here like it's it's not going to be huge considering how the servers were today especially for crytek and this game in general uh like the the servers today were like flooded as hell like you could not get into a game fast like i waited about 10 minutes max to get into one of my lobbies so there was a lot of people logging in and the servers were just jam-packed so imagine if they just dropped the crow in and had this live event that everyone was trying to log into, but we're waiting about 10 minutes to even experience it, you know? Like, if it's gonna work like a Fortnite event where you have to be queuing up at the right time to get into the match to see this event happen, then that would have been this like catastrophic, dude. It wouldn't have happened for a lot of people. So, if it works that way, that would have been awful if they didn't have this progress bar in place to gauge the interest for this uh, event. Um, if it's a little bit more like instance to where like everyone that logs logs in and plays on a certain day maybe like when this progress bar is unlocked if you play on the day the progress bar is unlocked maybe the crow boss has like a little like cinematic-esque uh uh entrance you know to uh hype people up a bit but uh it's safe to assume that like judging by like Crytek's past behavior, this is not just pure greed. They're not making this so high that you want to buy these boosters. They're doing it because they not only want to gauge the interest for this event to make sure uh, they, they want to gauge the interest for the event and prepare the servers for what's to come. You know, like once the you know damn well, once this progress bar hits like 99 million, people are going to be waiting at their computer, you know? People are going to be, like, itching to get into there as soon as the boss is up, you know? And that's going to be huge for the game. That's going to be, like, a huge live event for the game. And uh, there's no way in hell that they're just going to spawn the boss in and that's it. And I did hear, and it's probably common sense, that the boss is going to spawn in every match once he's unlocked for the event. So, do we really think that the crow boss is going to spawn in? It's out of the blue no like cinematic entrance or anything he's just gonna be there with all the hype they put on it as the crow flies the crow will fly act one of the event and act two of the event like no this is clearly gonna be like one big show you know like it's not gonna be like like the world is gonna get destroyed and like you're gonna be in the forefront of it like it's gonna get nuked and like crow bosses is gonna like fight a giant mech or something you know like in fortnite but the way I think it's going to happen, and I don't want to like potentially spoil it if this is how it's going to work, but the way I see this live event occurring is it's not going to be a live event where you have to queue at the right time to see it, but I feel like it's going to be like continuous. Like you're not just going to queue into one match and then that's it. I feel like it's going to be every match for the day or even the week or the, however long the event is going to last once it's unlocked every single day. Once the boss is unlocked for the event is going to show you it's going to show you as you spawn in the crow boss is going to fly when you spawn in it's going to fly in and it's going to land at a compound and everyone will converge on this compound because they saw where it flew like it flew right 
I think that's the only logical way and practical way for Crytek to do this because there's no way in hell they're going to have an, an event bigger than that, right? Like, they want people to be hyped. They want people to kind of, like, actually get to experience the boss eventually, you know? I'm not sure if that's how people would like it to go, but I feel like that's how it might go. Maybe for, like, a day so people actually get to experience it eventually, you know? Sooner rather than later, you know? But I feel like being able to see the crow boss fly in land on a compound is probably the more practical way a live event would go for this game um and i still feel like that's pretty ambitious but i feel like something of the sort is going to happen like that like you're actually going to see the crow boss doing something instead of like having to go to the compound to experience it yourself you know like not seeing like a, cin a cinematic entrance or anything like just going to the compound that's it i guess not so how it's going to go um and i feel like just like the hashtags like as the crow flies the crow will fly that like that's hints enough right like that's that's like evidence enough that that's probably what's going to happen and uh, we don't even know how the boss works either for the most part like the teaser showed them like being somewhat like a teleporter like a a weeping angel from like doctor who is how a uh, crytek partner described it so um yeah, he was like kind of like it seemed like vision based where like you're not looking at him and he just kind of appears there or something you know like behind you or something something like that or you look at him and he stops moving or something like that, you know? So he seems like a vision-based boss, but we haven't really seen if he can fly, you know? And I feel like they've been holding off on that part for us to experience it in a live event. And, uh... Yeah, that's how... That's that's as far as my, like, tinfoil hat theory goes. I feel like it's not too far off, you know? I, I feel like it's pretty practical. It's not going to be, like, a big, big deal. But it's going to be exciting enough to, like, have people hyped for it, you know? For, to make people feel more fulfilled about it and uh to have a successful event like that i feel like they're definitely going to need a few days to gauge the interest and fix their servers so they're, there's not people waiting 10 minutes to get into the lobby first of all and allow people to actually experience this without a hitch or somewhat you know without a hitch uh there's probably going to be still like some issues with it but they probably want to be a little bit more better prepared to uh let people experience this boss the way they want they intended you know and uh yeah that's as far as my tinfoil hat theory goes i did have a bit of a theory about the lore of the crow boss but like it's kind of like more outlandish than my actual uh live event uh theory but um if you want to hear that i basically just assumed that like the crow boss was actually like a person that was like deranged and like thought he was a bird or something and like hurt himself a lot and uh probably had like some witch crafts magic and like f whatever conducted on him to uh because there's a lot of evil in the bayou like let's be real like just like it, it, worse things have happened i feel like but he had some witchcraft conducted on him and he like became one with the crows and he just wanted to fly so bad and so he had that happen and now he can fly right like he's a bird and like he's evil and like you know that's probably the trade-off of witchcraft and all that but uh of that sort at least um but yeah i just feel like it's probably like a person that wanted to fly and like he clearly has like a plague mask on so that's not like too far off in my opinion but uh yeah i feel like that's kind of like a really sick way to kind of introduce a character like that like the lore wise you know but uh yeah, that's enough of my tangents. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't normally make videos like this, as you could probably tell. It's going on like 20 minutes now, so I'm really sorry about this. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, leave a like. I probably won't make very many videos like this often, but uh, I hope you enjoyed my little tangents. I, I know I'm not very presentable on screen. I'm not like looking at the camera and all that, but I just wanted to get that out there, kind of let it out. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen, because it's going to take a few days for it to happen. So... Let's get our theories in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you didn't, obviously. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.